Let's start on the cross. Grow the game and treat it well. You're naughty. So at the beginning of this video, I poked fun at baseball a little bit, and I just want to make sure that uh, my true opinion on that gets out. Oven mitts. Will it string? Let's find out. I think it's really important for young lacrosse players and lacrosse players actually of all ages to be ambassadors for the game. Uh, we all talk about growing the game, but I think one of the most detrimental things we can do is to slam another sport. If we're trying to sell the game of lacrosse to a baseball player, I think uh, you know the first thing out of our mouths should not be baseball sucks because that's all they're going to hear. They're going to hear this lacrosse bro is attacking the game that I love. Lacrosse sucks. You know, that's, that's kind of the, where they're going to come. If, if we're cool, if we're polite, if we're diplomatic, if we expose them to our game in a positive way, I think, um, you know, we'll see much more success in growing our game. And, and I don't think we need to get every baseball player because we don't want baseball to disappear. Baseball is, uh, it's steeped in history and it's, it's a cool game. It may not be for you, but it is for some people. Now, just you know, think about someone selling you on a type of music or a diet or a religion. When they're real aggressive, you know, it just it falls on deaf ears. I know it does me. If someone's giving me the hard sell, I tune out instantly. So attacking baseball is never going to convert a baseball player. It's just not going to happen. We all know lacrosse is, is a fun sport. So sell it as such but do it in a positive way. We need to be mindful of how we're perceived. Like I said before, be an ambassador for the game of lacrosse and sell it well. <laughs>